Welcome to our live training session number 35, part four. In this video, we're gonna start our high cam tuning. We're gonna be specifically taking a look at mapping out our zero degree high cam fuel and ignition timing tables in preparation for going through the rest of our cam angle pairing for fuel and ignition timing and doing our cam angle blend in the next coming videos. So let's jump into this video so we can check out how we're gonna get started with high cam tuning. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped EG Civic. Now in the last video, we went through the entire low cam operation tuning. So we went through all the different cam angles, we went through all the different fuel and ignition timing tables associated with a cam angle, we tuned them individually, then we went in here and we created our cam angle blend. So that is set up, now we're ready to move into the high cam. So we're going to be turning on VTEC really early. We're going to get onto the high cam. We're going to be checking our part throttle and our wide open throttle. Again, similar to the idea on our low cam here as we went in for the zero degree cam angle table. We went into the table here and we spent the most time dialing this in. We're going to do the same thing now for full throttle. So this is going to carry us through the rest of our full throttle tables. Now I'm not going to be mapping this much higher than maybe 30 to 35 degrees in variable cam because again I don't know what the mechanical Piston to, con piston to valve contact or valve to valve contact is going to be on the motor. It hasn't been clayed, I can't establish it. Even though it should be okay, I don't want to risk having any kind of interference and crashing the pistons and the valves and destroying the engine. So um, we're going to go through the process of going from 0, 10, 20, 30, and maybe going up to 35. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but we're going to be starting off and focusing on zero degree cam angle in this table. That's going to require the most effort and again, we're going to use that copy and paste it going from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on. And we'll speed up our tuning process. We're going to be essentially creating two different videos here, one for zero degree, and then the rest, we're doing the rest of the cam angle blends, and then the VTEC engagement. There's going to be some things we need to pay attention to with that. So let's take a look now at our high cam. So I have to be off of my uh, lightning bolt here. We don't want to be live with the ECU. We're going to toggle onto the high cam. Um, we haven't done anything with this yet. We haven't went in and linearized the table here. We need to reset these breakpoints. The RPM breakpoints are a definite problem. We're not revving to 11,000 RPM. In fact, we probably won't rev this much higher than 9,000. So I'm going to be probably keeping my peak breakpoint here about 9,200 and then going downwards and having a reasonable amount of breakpoints associated with this myth mapping for the engine. So what I am going to do here, um, kind of taking a look at this and, and judging by these cams, these are Drag Cartel 3.2 cams. VTEC engagement is usually five to 6,000 RPM range, just for a generalization across almost any engine. So um, if you have these in cams installed, these larger cams, we're gonna have our VTEC much higher than it would be stock because it has much higher lift, much higher duration on the high cam. So we're expecting to have to shift that up. And in fact, if we take a look at our dynograph right now on the last low cam pool, we can see we made uh, 183 horsepower, that's about 208 horsepower, 108, I'm sorry, 183 pound feet of torque and 208 horsepower. Now specifically, if we're looking at 6,000 RPM right here, uh, we're gonna find this point, it's about where our peak torque starts to occur at. That's probably gonna be right around our VTEC engagement. So I'm guessing, based on what we see there, it's gonna probably be between 54 to 5,800. So we're not gonna engage it yet. We're actually gonna be turning it low so we can sweep through this table here. We wanna focus on the part throttle. So if we transition over into VTEC, but we're not wide open throttle, we need to characterize essentially our columns one through six, one through seven here. We don't wanna leave this out. We wanna make sure this is going to be valid, this is gonna be tuned properly. If we have a transition going from our low cam to high cam, we're not full throttle, we're in this area. If our fuel's way out, it can create major drivability problems. In fact, I've seen a lot of cars have issues with this. Uh, Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.